<laughs> what's up what's up my good people this is your girl ms good news i am right here with our very own uh, 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 zach north in the building yeah, what's, what's up, up? <laughs> i appreciate you having me out yes i appreciate yeah. you sitting with me man listen let's get into it let's get right into it and y'all know look we look we sitting comfortable right now i got my leg up that means we finna get into it okay let's okay go. let's go let's die so tell me what is it that you notice people look at when they talk to you, interact with you? Because you got your mask on all the yeah. time, right? Yeah. So what they look at? If it's a dude, they try to figure out what to look at. So they usually scanning me top, top to bottom, looking away. It's a little awkward sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. Uh, women, they stand directly at my lips. Mm, was that now? Did you strategically plan that? Did you know that that was what was going to happen with the women? Because, you know. Mm. Cause you just did the LL Cool J. First off, we are gonna get into that. You just did the LL Cool J. I just oh, seen it. Man, oh, you gonna bust me out like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Good. nah, nah, nah. I, I would, as much as I think I'm strategic, I would like to say I planned that out, but I didn't think about it until afterwards. A woman, it was an older woman too. She was like 50, and she was sitting in my session, and she said, "Hey, you need an endorsement with uh, Chapstick." And I said, what? She oh. said, yeah, she said, because that's what we look. I'm looking at your lips, and you know I'm a... And I was like, <laughs> okay, I appreciate it. Let, hold on, let's save the back half. Of right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. Pause, okay? Yeah, Pause. But, but after that, then my, I was like, oh, this makes sense. That's yeah. dope. That is smart. Mm -hmm. So, like, the mask. When you think of a mask, when I think of a mask, people wear masks for different reasons, like whether it's protection, whether it's disguise. Um, it could be even cultural type of reasons so what is your reason long story short I first of all I feel like we all wear a mask right mm -hmm. you know for for some dudes it's whatever car they in whatever outfit they got on that's right you know for some women it's whatever unit they got on whatever lashes makeup you know so we all got a, the truest version of ourselves behind the mask right so you know for me this is just my vehicle you know, right. this, this is what I feel comfortable behind, you know, and it's it's bigger than just the mask. It's bigger than what I look like. It's bigger right. than what's underneath the mask. It's the music. It's the creativity. And so putting this mask on puts more emphasis on to the creative brain. Mm, you know I love saying? it. Because yeah. I want to say, like, when I'm looking at you, I, my, one of my favorite movies is The Mask, okay, with, okay. with Jim Carrey. Yeah. Okay, but in that movie, he has an alter ego. And the mask actually enhanced that other part of him where he was real, like, cool and, you know, sweet, but he couldn't always muster up the energy to say what or the confidence to say what he needed to say to certain people. Do you think that the mask for you enhanced anything other than music? Mm, somewhat. I'm going to be real with you. When I take the mask off, I still feel like I'm him Hardaway. So mm. I'm him. That's how I feel. But I am a lot more reserved when I take my mask off. I'm very introverted. Oh. You know? So it's interesting you said that because I've used, like, I think I heard Beyonce talk about Beyonce and then Sa the, uh, right. Sa Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce. Uh huh. And so I'm, I'm like that. I'm a daddy in real life. So, you know, I'm, I'm more quiet. I don't sit in the back of the room, observe. Right. You know, when right. I have the mask on, I have to be in the center of the room. Mm hmm. You know? So do you feel like that's being or I want to say, do you feel like your personality came like as a child? Was it always quiet? And then when you got the mask and then you started to say, OK, I'm Hell outspoken no. or no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, said, I ain't going to let you finish. Girl. Let me tell you no. Yeah, mm -mm. no. I, I was all over the place. I was messy. Me too. I was curious uh look that's the adult version of me now it was curious okay okay bad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna clean it up it's curious you know what i'm saying adult adhd yeah. okay yeah. anyway but no because you're a preacher's kid too right 100 percent, 100 percent. i mm. wasn't always that though you wasn't always a preacher kid nah so in the beginning you know my mom was a single mom my dad was in prison you know okay. from where i'm from um he, he was a big drug dealer right know? um he was in the streets, and so he went to prison for, for a minute. When I was in middle school, you know, then he had got out. All of a sudden, he came home a preacher, you know what I mean? Wow. And then he was just trying to, like, put the family back together. So right. he was in my life for about five years, and then he had, um, and then he had a stroke. And, oh, wow. And, you know, he, he, he's dead now. So um, mm. I didn't really 
get that life for about five years but my mama did raise me in the church she is saying wow wow yeah. that's amazing because see i wanted to say because you know they have that little stigma about preachers kids i'm a pk too they say we wow we mm. real wow you know wow in the streets we wow yeah. <laughs> hey hey okay uh -huh. well was that you or was you just active bit. and hyper because there's a difference yeah, a little bit a little, a little bit. bit yeah so when i was younger you know it was attention seeking attention seeking and right right bouncing off the walls um when i grew up that's when the wildness set in and really and like i said my mama she sheltered me for a while right. so my mama is one of the few in my family that's in the church the rest of my family you know they they do what they do and, wow. and you know it's it, they that's like that you know what i'm saying so she didn't let me play too much like you know she worked five jobs so somebody had to watch me you know? yeah so, shout out to mama okay so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna shout say out. that okay yes. yeah that's a lot but yeah. I, I i love to think that i got the best of both worlds because my mom um, she was more the, the wild one, okay? She had the parties, and my yeah. daddy was the preacher, you know? He yeah. was like, we, stop, we gotta go to church. It was like that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I, I love to think that I got the best of both worlds. Do you feel like that? Do you feel yeah. like that there was a great balance because of the situation with your dad and, you know, that type of thing? Yeah, so so my daddy went to prison, um, you know, for, for, for hustling, but he taught all my uncles how to hustle. And so while he was in prison, they was hustling. When he came home, they went to prison. So, wow. you know, I, I, them was the men in my life. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, by nature, I'm a hustler. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can tell. So, let's get, let's get into this hustling, okay? Yeah, let's yeah. get into this hustling business of things. Uh, when did the music start as a career? As a career? Uh, ooh, to be honest with you, I would say three years ago. No. As a career. Yeah. Before, it was a hobby that I didn't know how to channel. Mm. You know, I like that's deep. Yeah, it, it was it was just something I did. I was just spending money, artist development. Artist I development. I didn't know what to do with it. Right, right. A yeah. lot of people don't. What would you say about that too? Like, because we're on that point right now. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of people out here who needs artist development. How would you? How important do you think it is that they recognize that and then go seek it? Like, go get some help so that you can know how to navigate through the whole thing of music and won't be wasting your time. For sure, for sure. I think as, as we come into like the latter years of our 20s in the music game, we start feeling the pressure of being close to 30. That's right. And, and we got to get the music out now. We got to do this now. Nobody's going to listen to us later. But now with the power of the inter internet and distributed distribution, that's right. We can control our fan base. Whereas mm -hmm. we can go get who we want to get at what age group and what niche market we want to go get them in. And so my, my advice to people who want to skip that process, you got to go through the steps. The steps, mm -hmm. the steps are what make you become successful. So I would say slow down, mm. slow down, Oof. slow down and get it right. Because you can't always go back and fix it. Actually, it's very rare that you can go back and fix it. So you got to get it right on each step. I love that. Yeah. yeah. You know how hard it is for people to slow down. We live in a generation now where people don't even want to wait three minutes for their popcorn to pop. They oh. still, they be looking at the microwave. They be like, oh, come on. <laughs> you be like, calm down. It's okay. Yeah. But how do you, how do you teach that? Even because you say you're a father, how would you tell your son or your daughter, look, slow down. Just, the, this it's a process. What would you tell them to focus on to be able to maintain their anxiety or, you know, their being anxious? I, I really want this to happen. Yeah. What would you tell them to focus on? Well, I, th I, think the, I think the problem is that we want to control everything around us. Mm. And, and when we can't control it, that's when we start having, like, those intrusive thoughts and anxiety. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But I tell my kids, time is something that you cannot control. Mm. You, 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 you don't bring time into your environment you just a blip in time's environment that's so you right. got to learn to operate within time that's and right. if you're trying to rush time you're going to mess up you're going to make it harder on yourself so that's slow right. down get it right the first time so in the end you'll be satisfied with the result mm. and, that, and that's the way my career is going you know I don't you can that, tell yeah. you can tell like I, you can tell that you're strategic you can tell that you plan a lot yeah. and and i think that it's helping you so what would you say